Hello, this is Scott Pittman from Brookline Music School, and today I'm going to teach you how to fix your hi-hat stand. Now, this might be a silly thing to have a whole entire tutorial for, but I think almost every student I've ever taught has at some point or another brought their hi-hat stand in, thinking they've completely broken it. This happens so often, I would say once a week I have a student bring me their hi-hat stand or tell me about it. So what usually happens is they're playing and pushing the pedal down and they will see this thing, this post go up and down and the clutch may not be attached or if the clutch is attached, this happens where it is not attached to the cymbal. Now it's been so crazy that I actually had a student go to the store and buy a new hi-hat stand thinking that it was destroyed forever. So we don't want that happening. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take, is undo this clutch by just turning it just a little bit. You don't have to go crazy. If this is tight, this is loose. That was a quarter turn. If you take the clutch off, then you'll also find a piece of felt. You always want a piece of felt touching any symbol. And now it's really hard to get the symbol off because it's tight against the other symbol. So you want to just push them so they're diagonal like this, and then you can easily take the other symbol off. And then, a lot of times, you will usually find the other part of the clutch and another piece of felt. So in this case, what happens on a monthly basis almost in most people's drum set is that this bottom part comes apart from the main clutch that can just be screwed in. And that happens because as you're playing, the vibrations of playing the hi-hat unscrew this piece, which is usually hidden underneath. So the first problem is solved by putting the clutch in the top, so it looks like this, and then you just screw this on underneath. That is probably 85% of my hi-hat problems, which can be solved just by screwing that back in, and that's done. The other 15% of the problems is this, where this piece here is not actually threaded into the piece that's hidden in the post. This is a trickier trick um, to fix, now what you really need to do is make sure this threaded part here threads into the inside part. Now sometimes you can just feel around until it grabs. And the way you'll know it grabs is you are threading it and you can push and pull the pedal and the pedal moves up and down. And you know you've done the correct job. If you can't get it to thread in without looking at it, then you would take the bottom symbol off and then you're going to, with one quarter turn, take the post off, and then you usually can see very clearly where this thread goes. So now I've threaded it that way, now I know it's in, and you can make the pedal go up and down, and now you put the post back in, you tighten it, you put the bottom symbol in, and just so you know, the bottom symbol um, is never attached to anything, it just sits there. So it's just free to move any way it can. And then your clutch, which always make sure you have felt on both sides of the clutch. And that goes like that. And you want to have this high hats maybe about a centimeter apart. And then you just tighten them. Working high hat.